Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Jackie's Crafty Time. As you can see I am working on my little rainbow dragon. I always want to say little rainbow. It's rainbow little dragon Z. I'm going to zoom you out. You can see I got the top done. I probably shouldn't have zoomed you out because it took me forever to get that angle. Okay going for a ride again. Sorry if I made anybody sick there. Um, yeah so I am actually moving along again on this uh, canvas which is really good because I did kind of burn out um, there for a little bit and I don't know I just kind of I've been working on um, like I've said before in the kitchen sorry I'm taking a drink guys also I'm really obsessed with vitamin water lately I don't know why it's my new thing um, like I said before, I have been working on, uh, kits in the kitchen when my daughter is playing like Play-Doh or something, or she's occupied, I'll just go stick a few drills down. Um, that being said, it takes forever out there because I don't get the time to just kind of sit and do the kit. I'm looking for the number of the color I'm looking for, and I... This kit has, okay, can you see, let me see, yeah, okay, see this arrow goes up here, and then there's this arrow that goes down here, yeah, it's it's a whole wackadoo of a mess, but I hear one of the dragon ones, which I'm pretty sure that I have in my stash, also has something like that, where there's two arrows kind of similar, and they're, I think they're like excuse me, close in color as well. So that'll be interesting. Um, tray is from Amy. I've already put my drills in it so you can't see that uh, it's a Harry Potter tray. I'm also using my cover minder, not this one, but one exactly like this to hold my tray up. Also from Amy. Um, I have, what do I have in my pen tonight? I got putty and I have my salted caramel waffles. Let me try and turn this on. Is that the issue? There we go. Salted caramel waffles um, wax. I'm not sure what putty I actually have in this side. Oh, I know. It's um, peppermint latte. Because I'm kind of a. Oh, I just kicked you guys. Should have scooted in before I started. I know. I'm sorry. So. I have now uploaded, I believe they're all uploaded, my whipping shots. I can actually check right now. Let me just take a gander. Yes. Okay, so they're all, they're all up. That's exciting. Um, so I was just looking at something on my husband's computer. Nothing terrible, don't worry. It's where I have my YouTube channel, um, where I work on like the videos and uploading them from there. So it's, it's easier than, I haven't really tried to just upload straight from my phone. Maybe one video I will. I know for the big one year anniversary of me having a channel, my son is like, you have to do a face reveal. So that'll be the big fun thing. Um, if Miss Coffee does the whipping challenge again, I'll do like, the beginning of it I'll do like maybe the tag questions about me again but like face the camera kind of which I'm like extremely nervous about for some reason to like um sorry that wasn't I haven't looked is this blurring okay if you hear noise in the background it's my daughter she's running around with my husband and I believe she just came inside from being outside so she's gonna be super crazy excited um I don't know if she's in here I thought I heard her it could be wrong okay also what was I saying oh my god what was I saying oh the one year yeah so for my one year thing that's my that's my plan right now which I think it'll be fun I can't believe it's almost been a year well not almost the year would be um 
I did my first video January 2021. I think it was like January 2nd or something. Because I was like, I don't want to start my YouTube channel in 2020. That's where everything went to hell. So I waited till it was officially 2021. And then I was like, all right, I'll start it. Okay, wait a minute. I'm doing something wrong up there. Oh, there's arrows. Okay. Nobody's going to need to know they're all shades of purple. Except you guys will know. But that's okay. It's fine. Oh my goodness. So, I unboxed the virus detected. It should, that video should be up before this video. So you guys will see it. But is it not like the, I love the black ABs. I cannot wait. I think it's hilarious. Um, I know some people when they first put it out were like, oh, I don't want it. It's, you know, a reminder of a terrible thing. And when this is all over, I don't want to think about, well, you know what? It's kind of like, yeah, you don't want to think about it, but we're living it. So it's not like you really have a choice. You know what I mean? Like, it's how you, I guess, how I look at it is it's a humorous thing. So, like, if I'm going to look back at it, I can kind of laugh at that and be like, okay, it's cute. It's a little dragon with a virus on his computer and he's got the mask and gloves and hand sanitizer. I think it's hilarious. So definitely got that one um i also have my last diamond art club coming is christmas morning which is one of the ones that you know what when i first seen it i didn't think that i wanted it i was like no i don't i don't need it um and it's funny because i thought i wanted the other one the fireside was it fireplace fire no festive fireplace that's the blue one and I was like, I think that one's gorgeous. And then when I seen that one done, that changed my mind. Like when people were posting progress pictures, I was like, no, I don't, you know what? I don't think it's for me. Um, but then somebody posted progress pictures of Christmas morning. And I was like, oh my God, like, I love that. I love all the reds. Reds is one of my favorite colors. It's just, it's gorgeous. And the Santa Claus is like super detailed. I just, I absolutely love it. But that is my last Diamond Art Club I have. Um, it's a pre-order, so it's not going to ship until September something. I think it was September 15th. Um, it was in my email. And then after that, I decided that I'm going to pause um, buying Diamond Art Clubs or like Diamond Paintings. I have two coming from AliExpress, and then that's it until I work on some of my stash, which I counted my stash today. Um, and it's not a huge number. It's not like 200 or anything. So it's just, I, the thing is, I don't have time to just sit and diamond paint. I have a two year old who is extremely busy. Like the amount of times, the amount of times, the amount of time it takes me to do just a snack size painting on the kitchen um, table it takes like weeks like and it could be just like a 25 by 25 painting it's just she's go 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 so what happens like i was telling my husband is i am buying the ones that i want but not having time to complete anybody anybody oh my god i cannot talk um any of them right at this moment because Addison is like nutso baby but we just put her or made the decision that we're gonna put her on the wait list to get into daycare um, I think it'll be really good for her to like start socializing with other little kids to you know try and get used to that before she goes to JK so hopefully fingers crossed a spot opens up for her um, cause I, I would love that. I mean, I think I'm going to be a mess the first day that I have to leave her at the daycare. Yeah, I will. I'll be a mess. I was a mess when I left my son at school for JK and it was not good. I remember coming, like walking home and I was literally crying, walking down the road and he didn't care. When I dropped my son off for JK, um, for those of you who don't know, I have two kids. I have 
a 12 year old and then I have the surprise two year old um, and if you listen to my other whipping chats you'll know the story about how that all came to be and everything um, so anyways so when my son was ready for JK he's my little dude right like he's my buddy you bring in and Alex was three years old when he went to JK because he has a September birthday a late September so yeah I brought him to the fence thing where like you drop him off like on the little primary side and I was like okay like have a good day you know mommy's at home I took the day off work I was home you know gonna be waiting for him and ready like if the school called like he freaked out like I was I told him all of it he didn't care he's seen other little kids playing because Alex was an only child up until we have Asa now um yeah, he didn't, he didn't care at all. He just, he seen other little kids playing. He took one look back at me, like when I was still holding his hand and then he walked through the fence and he didn't even look back. I was like on the fence. I'm like, oh, okay, love you. Like, bye, like buddy, Alex, love you. And he didn't even, he didn't even turn around. I was just like, stand, and I stood there the whole time until the bell rang, until they went in. And I was like, he's gonna, he's gonna turn around. Like he's gonna turn around and like, acknowledge me like falling apart and being a mess right now he did not he did not he did not care he was like this is amazing look at all these little kids i'm having the best day of my life like yeah but at the end of the day he did come running out and gave me a big hug which made me feel better but like i said i was i turned around i made it past the crossing guard <laughs> And he was like, the crossing guard was like, first day, eh? And I just kind of nodded at him. And as soon as I passed the crossing guard, I started crying. <laughs> I called my husband and he's like, are, are you okay? I'm like, uh-huh. And he's like, are you sure? And then I just started crying on the phone. I was like, he didn't even look at me. He didn't care. He does care. He just, like I said, he'd never seen other little kids to play with. He was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Bye, mom. And was out of there. Did I mention everything? I'm trying to think. Yes, Diamond Art Club, Trey, Cover Minders, all Amy. Oh, my pen is Diamond Pens. I have them always linked down below. Um, I try and copy and paste those links so I don't have to retype them every time. Zox bracelets from Zox. This is my new one. It's called Don't Worry. It says Don't Worry on the inside I have it upside down right now but I am obsessed with this little bee one it's super cute okay but yeah like I was saying we finally got her into daycare circle back around to why this all whole story about children and schools has to do with my stash so when the kids <coughs> excuse me when the kids do both be in school or say Addison in daycare my son back in school I'll have more time to myself to like get the house clean then do the diamond painting for an hour like I feel like once they're in school I'll have more of a regular schedule for my channel as well um because right now it's just like okay I have to go record something and store it on my phone so I have something to put up and a couple days like it's it's all it's all over the place and I know that and I apologize and I appreciate you guys for still being here still giving me a watch and a like and all that um, I know I'm just a tiny little channel a tiny little creator in the world of creators but it's it's just awesome to to make the videos I'm really like I said before I really enjoy doing them and it gives me a little bit of me time too as well that I can just kind of you know give the baby to my husband and be like look I just need about like 45 minutes to an hour to just go in there get that done and come back out so we are trying a new technique at night which is sleeping with a stuffed animal seeing if that will trick her into like has that been blurry the whole time guys 14 minutes you've been blurry okay <laughs> let's not do that it should stay now I'm gonna watch it to see 
I might have to switch the angle. We'll see. Is it focusing on my pen? Is that what it's trying to do? No, it's good. Um, so I was thinking about uh, doing like a, not a parenting, um, not a parenting like channel, but like reading some like parenting stories and like just kind of giving my opinions on it. Not that I'm a parenting expert. I am in no way a parenting expert or a therapist or any of that. I just thought it'd be funny to like read funny parenting stories about like what kids freak out about. Um, like this, my one friend on Facebook had posted a picture of a sandwich and <laughs> excuse me, it was like a sandwich cut into butterfly, like with one of the sandwich cutter things. And it's like, uh, it said, my, my toddler is crying today because I made her a butterfly sandwich, which is exactly what she asked me to make her. Well, how's your day going? And I was like, oh my God. And I can't remember because my daughter, Addison, was freaking out about something that day too. So I had posted and I was like, oh, my daughter's crying today because... And it happens, like, there are times when, like, honestly, she'll be crying because I won't let her snap all the crayons in half. That's what she got mad at me the other day about. She wanted to sit on the floor and take all the crayons out of the box and literally snap them in half. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I need to wear these Knox bracelets for these little reminders that, like, you know, Terrible Twos is just a stage. It'll get better. Don't worry. She won't always do this. But then there's like that little evil voice in the back of your head that's like, what if she does though? What if she is always this evil? It's not true. It's fine. It's just the stage that we're at. Yeah, so I definitely didn't let her snap all the crayons in half. We tried to move on to a different activity, but... That seems like a pretty popular one that day, and then we had to take all the crayons away and hide them. It was just, it was bad. It was a bad day. Um, but like, she'll bring you right to the edge of crazy, where you think you're losing your mind. And now she knows how to say I love you, so she'll give you a hug. But she says it like really fast, so it's like, I love you. That's how it sounds, and it's like, oh, I love you too, but, but you're just... You're driving mummy nuts right now. Mummy only has this many patients left and they're all gone. Okay. I am trying to see where this paper is because I didn't cut it right along the tape, which, you know, would have been the smart thing to do. But I was like, nah. Let's just do it all kinds of angles and then it'll be more fun. So you can try and figure out if your diamonds are sticking or if they're on the, um, oops, that's my pen. <laughs> I'm trying to scoot. Okay. Yeah. You guys can't even see. I was working over here the whole time. Not even up there. Now you're with me. <sighs> yeah. Like I said, it's, uh. It's the stage that we're at right now. Terrible twos are no joke, friends. Like, is there just, is there a force field there that I can't? Stay there for a minute. You guys are gonna see my arms and my hands and all of that. So I figure out, yes, that's why. There's plastic, that would be the reason. There we go, okay. Pause, get a drink, friends. Like, I used to read um, Chicken Soup for the Soul books, and I was like, you know, it'd be cool if I, like, read, not the sad ones, because believe me, there are some in there that, like, brought me to tears way back in my dramatic teenage days, but, like, the funny ones, I think that'd be so funny to read some, like, funny parenting things and I'm kind of just I was gonna say discuss it but it's just me here so I'd be discussing it with myself 
And then you guys can like leave comments and stuff down below. That's sort of, sort of my plan. I don't know if I could like actually read like a copy. Like, you know, would that be copyright? I don't know. If I bought the book and wanted to read the book out loud, would that be copyright? <laughs> Somebody, anybody who's watching, please, please uh, answer for me because I'm not sure. If you hear that crackling noise, it's a candle. It's a woodwick candle that I have lit. Um, I was watching Stitcherista and she had... <coughs> a candle that somebody had bought her or she had bought one and then somebody gifted her one um, called Woodwick Woodwick Trilogy I cannot find the one that she has yet but I bought a berry one that's not what's lit um, but I'm super excited after this candle's done I'm going to try that one out and see I was thinking about going out to have a fire tonight since it's starting to cool off a little bit, which is super nice. It's been so hot. I hate, hate being hot. Like, this is not my weather. I do not like summer. I do not like being hot. I do not like warm, like, icky, sweaty, gross humidity. I do not like it. I do not like it, Sam I am. I do not like it. I could probably read that whole book or not read. I could recite that whole book to you because when my son was little we used to read that book at least five times before he'd go to bed and then when he was up we would read it again just keep reading the same book. He loves Dr. Seuss. I hope he still does. He's 12 so he won't actually tell me if he loves it or not but I hope I hope he does. I'm trying to get his sister into it but like I said she is nothing like her brother. Alex could sit and read for hours. You could sit him down, you could give him books. He would sit, he would read, he would play puzzles. Addison is the exact opposite. She's busy, she has stuff to do, she wants to run and kick the ball and play and which is good. I like that she's, you know, that's who she is. She's her own person. But I also would like a sprinkling of like how chill her brother was, I'd love for that. Just a little, just a little sprinkle of it. And I always see that, um, that thing on Facebook that's like, uh, something about like my daughter is gonna change the world one day or something like, something like that. My daughter's gonna change the world one day. I just have to survive raising her first and I was like yeah that's exactly my situation I believe that my daughter will do great things I believe both my kids will do great things I just have to survive raising my attitude -y little son right now and my daughter what am I looking for guys number three no number four jeez Get your colors right, lady. It's all purple shades, so it's not like I'm uh, too far off from the last color. It's just a lighter purple. And after this one, see, I was going to do my Beatles one, but here's the problem. Drills and, trill, blah, blah, blah. Drills and chills is going to be starting, so I don't know if I should wait to do the Beatles but I feel like if I wait to do the Beatles what's gonna happen is then it'll be Christmas and then there'll probably be like a winter with DAC event coming and I'll be like oh but I could do my frosty snowman one that I also unboxed you will see that in the virus detected video as well um, so I I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to go ahead and probably skip Drills and Chills this year and then I'm going to um, like I'll still just watch people. Like I like watching people's finishes and everything. It's the same with this event that's going on for this one. Like I don't think I'll be finishing. The event ends August 31st because I think Drills and Chills starts September 1st. 
Um, so I don't think I'll get this one finished, but I like seeing like Miss Coffee's finish and Rachel Ray, they both did the same one. Um, I just I don't have the time. Like, like I love to diamond paint. I really do. It really helps with my depression and um, any kind of stress I'm having. It kind of just, it's almost like it's, it's a mind, like I can just zone out and do it. Like you just pick a color, find the symbol, dot, 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 keep going. And it's, I can't wait till I have time, but then I feel like, oh, well, when I have time, I'll feel guilty. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. My brain is really like weird like that, where it's, um, like when I have time for myself, I get guilty about it, where I'm like, no, I should be spending time with my kids, or I should be doing this, or I should be doing that, where it's, no, you do need time to yourself every once in a while, or take time to either do a craft or do something that, you know, will help just mental health-wise to calm your brain. So, I'm, I'm working on the not feeling guilty part. Okay, that was like a blink of an eye for you. Longer for me. So my daughter is inside now. I can hear her. If you heard that screech, that was her coming in. Obviously she didn't want to come in and now she's in. So I'm going to go for another four minutes or so. And then I'm going to end this whip and chat. I know it's a short one. Um, but yeah, it was good to catch up. If you have any questions, if you have any thoughts on the like the parent stories and then like reading like funny parenting stories. I want to keep it like funny. I don't want to do any like super depressing ones or like I can't handle that. Like um, I get really upset when I watch shows even like where kids get kidnapped or like I just ugh. I get super and then I have to go and like hug my babies and then my son's like mom like go away like get away from me and I'm like no I don't care if you're 12 you're my baby boy. Which then he kind of gives me like the 12 year old eye roll and I'm like, I don't care. I was like, you get as big as you want. You're always going to be my baby. I can't believe he's starting grade eight this year. That just blows my mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Going to get another drink. Mm. Guys, I forgot a triangle right there. Why didn't you tell me? I hate that. I hate that so much. Um, yeah, it blows my mind. He's going to be in grade eight this year. And then next year when his, I was going to say when his daughter, when my daughter goes to school, his sister, he'll be going into grade nine. Like how truly insane is that even? I don't know. I, I have super mixed feelings about it. I'm like excited for him, but I'm also worried because of all this coronavirus crap, all this well, I think most people just call it COVID, but Corona, COVID, whatever you want to call it, I'm over it. I just want the kids to have some normalcy back in their life. I want to see them play hockey. I'm hoping everything is like back to normal this year. Wishful thinking, right? Right. I know. But if I keep a positive attitude, I'm hoping that it will just rub off on the world, right? You just keep saying it's getting better, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be, you know, good, and then it will. So, <laughs> that is my big plan for that. And also, oh, I know, for, I know what I was gonna tell you guys. Also, see, I'm multi-placing here, because I usually multi-place. Um, the kit on the kitchen table, when it's done, I'll show you guys. It's a diamond art club. It's the rainbow flower petal one, which has got a ton of ABs in the one, like beautiful kit. Um, I am single placing that kit and it's so crazy because first off, I don't have time to fiddle with multi-placing and I'm running by and like dotting quickly. So I'm single placing pretty much that entire kit 
well so far it has been the entire kit and then there's like a little part of me where I'm like oh I should switch to multi-placing and then I'm like no I want to see if I can actually do a whole kit um, single placing and I know that's not crazy I know people single place my mom single places to Teresa single places um, I just don't I flip it around I usually single place when there's like one or two but Sometimes I'll even pick them up on the multi-placer and then like dot here, dot here. But I'm challenging myself and I think it's because it's a smaller kit so I can single place most of it and get it done. So we'll see. It takes me, like I said, it takes me a while out there. But it's coming along. I think I've got the top row done and I've started, I think I have three rows that I sectioned off with the washi tape and I'm on the middle row now. So, is that it for that color? Because I'm going to pause here, not pause here. Nope, I got two more at the top. I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, I don't really have much else to say. I just wanted to give you a little update on some stuff that's been going on, some stuff I've been thinking about doing. Let me know how you feel about that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comments section. Um, if you're looking for any of the links for Amy from Sensible by Design or Diamond Pens or Lori for some extra AB. Ouch, just hit my hand off my new cart. All those links will be down in the description box. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.